We will be discussing a beautiful problem from geometry today. It will involve triangular inequality and it will involve a geometric transformation called reflection. So using that problem, we will also learn how to understand these two com concepts. Here is a picture of the problem and I will explain what the problem is. My name is Ashwini Dashgupta and I am a faculty at Chinta.com. You can check the link in the description for more tools related to mathematical Olympiads and ISI and CMI entrances and so on. Okay. Let me first tell you how this discussion will proceed. We will talk about an underlying concept, but we will learn that using a very beautiful problem. In fact, I'll tell you the name of the book. It's called Geometric Transformation Volume 1 by Yaglon. It's a very beautiful book on uh, how to use geometric transformations to solve complex problems, challenging problems in geometry. At the end of this video or toward the end of this video, I'll give you a challenge question for the viewers. Um, if you are able to solve this, make sure to put a comment in the description. The best commenter will be mentioned in the next video. And also, uh, we are running a Ramanujan scholarship at Chinta.com. The best responders in the comment section over a month will be considered for the Ramanujan scholarship. So make sure that you tell us what you're thinking about that challenge problem. Okay. So let me tell you what the problem is all about. The first problem that we'll be discussing today. There are two lines like this, the green line and the blue line. And you are standing at the point A like this. You are standing here. You want to first go to the green and then to the blue and then back to A. So this is what you want to do. Go to green, then go to blue and then back to A. That's what you want to do. And maybe this is one point on the green that you go to and then you go to this point on the blue and then you go back to it. It could be different. I mean, it, I, I've just drawn one situation. You could go to this point here. Then you can go to here and then you can go back. So it doesn't matter how you do it. This is what you want to do. First go to green, then go to blue and then back to A. You also join the point O to the point A. And this is what you want to show. You want to show that 2 times OA is less than or equal to the perimeter of the triangle ABC. 2 times OA is less than or equal to the perimeter of the triangle ABC. So how are you going to do it? Well, this is the first thing that we will be doing. We'll be reflecting A across the blue and across the green. So let's do that. Let's reflect A across the blue like this. So we have A prime and then reflect A across the green. So that we have a double prime. Okay. The question is, and this is about the conceptual part of this problem. The question is, why did we reflect? Why did we do this? It's a very standard strategy. We reflected because we wanted to open up this triangle. Understand this very carefully because it will be useful in other problems. Open up this triangle. 
what we have done secretly what we have done secretly is that we have unfolded ab and moved it like this to a double prime b we have unfolded ca unfolded ca like this and it became ca prime so now this entire triangle abc is an unfolded piece of three lines a double prime b b c a c a prime so instead of thinking about a b b c and c a you can now think about a double prime b c and c a prime and you can actually check this that a double prime b and a prime b are same things because it's a reflection and c a and c a prime are also equivalent okay so what did we learn we learned that we do reflection because we want to open up the triangle we want to open up this triangle right that strategy will be applicable in quadrilaterals and other problems maybe so keep this in mind okay now how does that help let us join a double prime to a prime let us join that so i'll write this so join a double prime with a prime so here is a claim the claim is that it will pass through o this line passes through o now why is that let's let's suppose this point is r and this point is s so you can check that these two triangles are congruent of course they are because one is just the reflected version of the other so you can say that okay this this angle is theta one this is also theta one now again if this is theta one then this is 90 minus theta one this is 90 minus theta one and now you can also check that these two triangles oas and oa prime s these two are also congruent because again one of them is a reflection of the other now since this one is 90 minus theta one this one must be theta one so this is theta one and this is theta one okay so that's great so now if this is theta one if this is theta one then this must be 90 minus theta one so this angle is 90 minus theta one okay so what do we have angle a double prime o r is theta one a double prime o r is theta one angle r o s is 90 degree r o s is 90 degree to do two sides are perpendicular to each other and ang angle s o a prime s o a prime is 90 minus theta one so if you add them up this becomes a straight angle so becomes a double prime o a prime is 180 degree which means this is a straight line right so we have proved that this is a straight line that's great moreover we showed that o a is equal to o a double prime because these two triangles are congruent and oa is also equals to oa prime because these two triangles are congruent so in fact this particular line is this particular segment is twice of oa okay 
that's great because in our claim main claim we have twice of oil so we are very excited we are almost there so the what is the last thing what is the last piece of the puzzle notice that a prime a double prime is less than or equal to a prime a double prime which is twice of oa this is less than or equal to a prime c c b b a double prime a prime c c b b a double prime right because this is like the quadrilateral version of the triangular inequality it's like generalized triangular inequality let me write that it's generalized triangular inequality what and what is that well if you go directly from a to a prime or if you go to a to a prime on a different path certainly if you go directly it will be smaller that's exactly what triangular inequality is if you have a triangle x y z if you go directly from x to z that is x z that is smaller than x y then to y z that is a different path so less than or equal to equality is given because y could be on x z so then it would become equal right so that's the triangular inequality you can think about this as a quadrilateral version of the triangular inequality like the generalized triangular inequality so this is definitely true and as we have said earlier a prime c is equivalent to a c and b a double prime is equivalent to b a so we now have that twice of o a is less than or equal to the perimeter of this particular triangle which is exactly what we wanted so we used two things we started by reflecting and the reason we did that is we wanted to talk about opening up triangles that's a very important concept in fact it won't it would also apply to quadrilaterals and then we wanted to use the generalized triangular inequality to compare straight paths with opened up paths okay so these three ideas that we learned using this problem will be useful in other problems as well okay now as i promised you that there will be a challenge question and here it is if abc is any triangle here we go if abc is any triangle and o is a point inside the triangle show that the sum of oa plus ob plus oc is less than equal to the perimeter of the main triangle so can you do this can you do this and uh, as i said that the best commenter of this particular question the best one will be mentioned in my next video and uh, if you are a best commenter for several videos over a month then you might be selected for the ramanujan scholarship at chinta.com the link in the description will take you to uh, more tools in mathematics if you have any questions or any other ideas that you want to share please do comment like and subscribe thank you for watching